Yeah, uh, number one thing is just honestly to be inspired. Like we want people to be inspired and to be able to reimagine spaces and see the potential in things and, and to not just kind of settle for, you know, sort of the status quo or just how things have always been, but really try to make their community better and, and sort of take initiative, um, take it upon themselves to, to do that and to, to see a project like this and know that it's possible. Um, so yeah, just to be inspired. do what we can. I mean, the weather's just going to be what it is and I think something cool about what we're doing is just not trying to create this one specific like cool experience for one day but just to demonstrate like what this will be like or what it could be like long term and so weather is something you'll have to deal with no matter what <laughs> but we just might get a little wet setting it up but it'll be what it is. We've been talking about it for so long yeah. just to get to actually be in the space and enjoy it. That's yeah. Yeah. And we've been working with like a lot of different like people, so to see it like all come together, I think is gonna be really cool. I think the difference uh, with this project in particular is actually seeing the result of getting out there and working with the community. And it's not just something that you do and you pin up and you never look at it again. It's actually something that makes a difference. Every other project that we've done is either like a few hours or like one day, two days at the most. And so you still haven't even come down from that high of like installation and just the adrenaline rush of like making it happen. And then it's just like over already. Whereas this will be up for 10 days yeah. and we'll be able to like sit and hang out and enjoy it and experience it for a while after it's already been up and we can like sit back and take it in and not just be like, all right, we gotta take it out again. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy to think about how many people have actually touched this project <laughs> and how many more are gonna experience it now. But yeah, it's cool. Hopefully Definitely pretty. Definitely a team effort. Yes, yeah. big time, yeah. Worked really closely with the city and DSA and that's been really educational. I'm learning a lot, learning to, you know, be on a team and collaborate and it's been really good. Uh, yeah, I got started. Is, yeah, this is the South Avenue uh, place making demonstration. I'm gonna be kicking off tomorrow. Um, it's a project that uh, Better Block SGF has been working on for a long time. Uh, we're just a local nonprofit that's trying to improve public spaces and, and areas in Springfield and um, this is our biggest project yet and we're going to basically be transforming this entire block of South Avenue uh, just reimagining what it could be like to uh, just have have more pedestrian activity and to provide better safety and and also just highlight um, art and sculptures and just areas for social interaction and, and just trying to encourage that. Um, so it'll be up for 10 days from October 15th through 24th, and we'll just see what happens. Hey, just trying to add some uh, streetscape improvements and making um, just the area more walkable and enjoyable to be in. And so we'll have some live music tonight and some outdoor games and activities and fun stuff like that. We'll have a little station out here where people can literally like draw their own ideas for how they would want downtown to be better, like different landscaping or whatever. Uh, a, a big part of the, the impetus for this project really was COVID. And you know, uh, as a result of COVID, a lot of restaurant seats were shut down. And so we started moving people outside. And we had these uh, parklets all over downtown, but we found that those aren't quite what we really want because they're not shared. They're kind of, each place has its own place. And that put the city in a weird position as far as giving away a parking space to a private business. 
So this is a, a, a test to see how we can make a more egalitarian, uh, create more equity for uh, uh, pedestrians and for businesses along here because by widening the sidewalks, by narrowing the traffic lanes, we're starting to welcome pedestrians back to downtown. I mean, I always think of spaces and how um, how it could be better and how it could reach a better, higher potential. Um, and especially in Springfield, I feel like there's a lot of opportunity to do things better. Um, a lot of other cities have been doing it for a long time. They've been improving their their public spaces and, and areas, just adding more greenery, making more walkable. Um, and we just haven't really done a lot of that in Springfield. And there could be. Uh, there could be some improvement. Um, so yeah, I just see the opportunity that there is and we just want to encourage people to kind of look around and, and see like how they think uh, space could be better.